Hello, in this lesson we'll talk about WordPress and how can we install WordPress on our website. Okay, so basically there are two ways of installing WordPress on our website. The first one is by downloading the WordPress package from WordPress.org and upload it to our website using FTP program and then make some settings there. Okay, and the second one this is, in my opinion, the easiest way of installing WordPress is by using uh, Fantastico Deluxe option in your cPanel. Okay, so we have two websites. This is the first one. Here we will install the WordPress using the first method. And here is the second website. Here we will install the WordPress using the second method by Fantastico Deluxe. Okay, so the first thing you will need to do is go to Google and type WordPress. Here's the official website of WordPress. Just click on it and here you will see the official website of this excellent content management system. Here's the download button with the latest version of WordPress. All you need to do is to click on download WordPress and here you will see that the package is 3.8 megabytes and you can install it in your computer. Alright. Okay, so here's our WordPress installation package. You will need to unzip it first. Alright, and when it's done, you can use your favorite FTP program, whether it's FileZilla or maybe you're using Qt FTP to upload the uh, WordPress on your website. In my case, I will upload the package on this website, which is tutorialslessonstraining.com slash WP. And the second method, we will upload it in WP1. This is the difference, so let's go through the whole process. Okay, it is ready. Here's the package, and here how the package looks like from the inside. We have all the files here, we have admin uh, folder here, we, we have WP content folder here, and WP includes uh, folder here and all the PHP files. Alright, so we'll just select them all and drag and drop them in our site. Okay, we will install them here and I will wait until they are uploaded in the website. Alright, well almost ready. As you can see here we have 70 files left here and once they are uploaded you will see the whole process of installation of WordPress using this method. Alright, almost done. Seven files left. And we are ready. Okay, so now let's refresh the page. Okay, and it seems that we need to config our WordPress config PHP file. Okay, we can create one. So let's click on this button. Okay. So welcome to WordPress. Before getting started, we need some information on the database. You will need to know the following items before proceeding. Database name, database username, database password, database host and table prefix. Okay, let's click on let's go. And now we will need to uh, make all these settings. So first thing we need to do is go to our cPanel here, 
here's our C panel just go to your C panel and we'll need to create database in order to use and install WordPress so what we need to do is choose between these two options the first one is MySQL databases and the second one is MySQL databases wizard whatever is better for you I'm using the first one so we'll need to create database and connect it with our installation file I would suggest to create one txt file name it WordPress database and fill in all the information there okay now we will need to create a database and let's create for example this database create a new database click here and we have the name of the database we will you will need to put this information in your text file just in case for the future and now we will need to create a user for this database so we'll need to scroll down and need to create a user let's make it this one of course you will need to create stronger username for your database I'm just saving some time here so it will be the same as the database name All right and for the password don't forget to choose very strong password for your database because this is essential I would suggest to use password generator here and select one very strong password for your database alright so I have copied this and we will use this password then we will need to click on create user okay so my skill username is taken we will need to create another one we will create maybe this one alright and the password will be the same and now we are fine so we have username and we have a password here so let's go back now the third step is to add the user the user to the database so we'll need to select our user which is WP31 and select the database which in our case is WP1 click on add and here we'll need to select the privileges usually you should click on this small button and select all the privileges such as create change permissions to execute and the other options here so select all the privileges and here you can see we have a message that the user was added to the database all right so don't forget all these steps as you can see it's not that hard we have three steps here to create a database so let's go and see all the steps you will need to scroll in your C panel and find this icon with this dolphin you can also choose this one actually this is easier way to create database because you can go from one from the first step to the third one easier than here but I'm using this one the first one is to create database this is the first step the second step is to create a username don't forget to give strong password here and the third step is to add the database to connect the database and the username so they can work together all right once we have all this information save it on a safe place and we are ready to submit this information for our installation of WordPress so here we'll put our 
database name all right the username I'm just copy pasting the information from here and the password we can use the prefix to be WP slash but usually it's not recommended uh, for some security reasons but in this case I will leave it as it is so we'll click on submit and we have some error all right let's try again yes here instead of local host the password all right so now it's almost done we will need to run the install and after you click this button we're almost ready here we give the uh, site's title let's name it wordpress installation method one username and the password for your uh, for your username in in uh, this case I would highly recommend to use different username not the admin one you can type whatever you want such as strong username or something like this and uh, also select a very strong password because you will need to protect your website from unwanted visitors here you must select your email so you will receive some notifications from WordPress if something happens alright and also you have the option to select whether your site uh, will appear in search engines like Google Air and technocracy okay let's click on install WordPress okay that's invalid uh, user uh, em sorry email so. and let's click again on install WordPress all right so we have success and as you can see it's very very easy to create and install WordPress on your website using the first method okay, I have something wrong here again okay so we are now in the dashboard and as you can see we'll go through the front end of the website and as you can see we have installed WordPress in less than five minutes so this is the first method and actually the second method is uh, much more easier this installing WordPress by using fantastic deluxe option in your cPanel you must go to your cPanel of your website you can do this by going through the uh, website address then type slash and type cPanel and of course you should type your username and your password and then you will see one icon down below which is called Fantastico Deluxe this is the easiest way of installing WordPress let's see how it works we'll go through here and here you can see some options from the navigation menu on the left we can install WordPress we can install Joomla and other content management systems in our case we will need to install WordPress so click on WordPress and now we can type uh, we can select the new installation here to install WordPress all right so now we'll need to select where we would like to install WordPress in our case will be this website as you can see there is nothing here so we will install WordPress there okay we should leave this empty 
if we want to install in the root directory of the domain which in our case is the subdomain and then the main domain so and type the admin area administrator username let's say it is strong username and we will need to type the password here as well okay so we can select the nickname let it be like this the site name let's type installing WordPress method 2 and the description learn how to install WordPress by the second method all right we're almost done we'll need to type the password here the email here and after we click on install WordPress we will have absolutely fresh installation of WordPress in less than one minute so basically uh, we have skipped the step of uh, going to the cPanel and creating database all this is done by the option in the cPanel by Fantastico Deluxe so it will save your time it's up to you which method you prefer usually I'm using the first one but it's up to you again alright so let's see our website and here we have the second website with the second method by uh, installing WordPress using this Fantastico Deluxe option alright and as you can see it's very very easy to install WordPress on your website whether you choose the first method by downloading your uh, the latest package from the wordpress.org site or by using Fantastico Deluxe option it is very easy to create a website using uh, WordPress okay and uh, something more if you inst if you are installing WordPress using the first If you're installing WordPress by using the method of Fantastico Deluxe, you won't have the latest version of WordPress, so you will need to uh, go to the dashboard and update WordPress to the latest version. All right, so that's it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to uh, our. YouTube channel and subscribe to our newsletter on tutorial7.com. Thank you very much.